So that was a little bit about the QDM web client um, at the quality engineering department level. Our next level here, as we move on, is the manufacturing process engineering department. This is where they're going to analyze the plant data that they've just seen. Uh, this is all in real time. And what they can do here is also monitor the quality, check the impact of any improvements, do a root cause, and problem solve. So this is the, the tool that's very useful for these for this department is the QDM PDA. And we're going to go ahead and look at an example of the QDM PDA. So the QDM PDA, which stands for Plant Data Analysis, allows for the engineering team to to root cause and problem solve from a process improvement standpoint within within the plant floor for quality improvements. The quality engineering, which are primarily focused on day-to-day -day operations and making sure all their plants, uh, all their uh, cells and manufacturing locations within the plants are are running uh, up to the quality levels. The the engineering department are focused on long-term improvements and uh, how. Uh, uh, resolving any chronic issues within the plant floor or within within the data that's coming from the plant floor so they can uh, overall improve the quality of the process by process optimization and design optimization. So this is a standalone tool that's, a lot, that's available as a part of the QDM suite of products, QDM PDA. In this particular case, I am going to uh, um, do, uh, uh, let's say, a detailed analysis of this product that I can load in large volumes of data into the system. So I just loaded 100 samples of the, of, a, of, of the gear blank um, or the gear measurement from coming from the manufacturing cell. And uh, the system allows to very quickly uh, show me a Pareto analysis of, of the part, quickly highlighting what is the feature that's causing the highest variation or has been uh, repeatedly causing the highest variation. It's a very heavy math-based tool which runs multiple mathematical algorithms to, to kind of uh, interpret and uh, show uh, the key, key uh, features that are affecting the quality. So in this particular case, it highlighted to me that H of X, um, HX is the feature that's causing, that's having the highest variation um, and as a, as, a, as a root causing team, we would like to know more about it. So then now you can go into, uh, uh, just double click on it and it tells me a detailed view of each one of these, uh, of that particular feature, HFX. And now I'm looking at each one of the features that failed and uh, by looking at the, uh, the, the trend that's going on, everything seemed to be in spec up to a certain point and from a certain point, there seem to be some of these uh, uh, fail failure modes are starting to occur. Um, as an engineer, I'd like to know uh, when this happened and what is the significance of before and after. So I'm really quickly going to split this HX measurement into a before-after scenario. So I'm going to take up to the tool change date as the before date, and after the tool change date, um, after the tool change date as the after date and uh, just split that uh, measurement into two sections. Now I'm getting a split view on the top based on subset one, which is the before my tool change and uh, subset two, which is after my tool change and look at the statistics and look at there is a drop in, in, the, in the capability um, starting on that date. So maybe now we can attribute it to the tool change that happened on that particular date as the cost. So a system, it's more of a, of, a, uh, of a deep dive into the data to understand, but the toolbox has got multiple capabilities and multiple tools within the system to, to kind of take a deeper look at it and problem solve uh, for all the plant-based issues. So now I am going to, uh, uh, there could be uh, there are multiple tools in this. I don't want to go into each one of them. I just wanted to show you within a plant floor, 
this is the toolbox that's used in the in the engineering area uh, where to root cost and and to see um, to to gain overall process improvement. Uh, just to show one more tool in this toolbox is this uh, correlation analysis. It allows you to correlate between the features and tell you um, if how one set of features are correlated to another set of features. Is, is there correlation between the data that's coming, uh, uh, the incoming blank failures to the gear failures? And uh, the system provides you a mathematical analysis, but also you can kind of, I, I do see a high correlation on this uh, B of Y to C of Y, and by double clicking on it, it now sh shows me the the data correlation between the two and their uh, their statistics on it. So these are could be a very very useful tool for Six Sigma black belts or any type of quality engineering um, focus groups that you have within your organization as a modular tool to to improve quality within your organization. So uh, not getting too much into the different capabilities of this. It's, it's, an, it's a very, very powerful, invaluable tool when you have plant-based uh, data to be able to very quickly uh, find out where, what your root causes or what your key contributors to your quality problem are so that you can directly go to them and fix those um, uh, and, and improve your quality uh, with, within a very short span of time. Um, so let me... Uh